I'm Mary Grace Longoria, Stanford Children's Parent and Educator Organizer. Sitting next to me is Kate Dando Duran, our Marketing and Communications Director. Thank you for taking the time to watch our short video about how to help your children learn to read. In this webinar, you'll learn about why reading 20 minutes a day is important. We will also give you some tips on how to read with your child at home. This is the second of several videos we're going to share online. This effort is part of Read Now Colorado, a statewide endeavor to improve literacy rates, particularly among our youngest readers. So be sure to check out our other videos about reading too. As we talked about in our first video, reading is a fundamental skill in today's world. When someone can't read well, it impacts almost every aspect of their life. But if you know how to read, it probably feels easy, maybe even automatic. When a child is learning to read, they're tackling a lot of different early literacy skills. For some students, these skills come very easily, but others need additional support from their teachers and parents to help them learn. In our first webinar, we talked about the five building blocks of literacy. In this webinar, we will give you general tips on how to help your child develop their reading skills. One way of ensuring your child is developing strong reading skills is by practicing as much as possible. When your child is learning how to read, you can help them get more practice by spending time reading together. Our first tip for helping your student practice and improve their reading is to set aside a specific time every day to read together. You can also do this by incorporating reading into the normal activities you already do with your child. If you think about it, there are lots of opportunities for you to read with your child in your day-to-day -day activities. Here are some easy ideas. Driving, have your child read aloud as many signs and letters as they can. You can even make a game out of it. When grocery shopping, have your child read the names of as many items as they can while you wait in the checkout line. When cooking a meal, have your child read the recipe out loud and grab the items for you. Another way to build your child's reading abilities is to read a book or story together. Whether you want to read to your child or have them practice with you, studies show that reading for 20 minutes per day is a proven way of increasing literacy rates. And no matter what age your child is or where they are in developing their literacy skills, reading 20 minutes a day with your child has many academic benefits. Plus, it can be a lot of fun. Here are some tips to make the most out of those 20 minutes. Emphasize punctuation like exclamation points and question marks and give life to the characters. Regardless, of whether you are reading to your child or they are reading to you, by adding different voices to characters, you can help bring the book to life and further engage your child. Don't rush through the book. Read at a regular pace and take the time to read the title and cover pages. If your child is reading to you, have them read the book two times in a row to practice their fluency. Read a variety of genres and writing styles Exposure to different types of stories helps students grow their vocabulary and identify new ways of describing things or events. Most importantly, ask questions. In today's world, students need critical thinking skills more than ever. Reading with your child and asking probing questions about what you're reading and what they're understanding will help build literacy and critical thinking skills. Here are some questions to ask after every page or after a main part of the story. What do you think will happen next? Why do you think that? How do you know that? If your student comprehends what they are reading, they should be able to explain their answer. For example, what do you think is going to happen to Little Red Riding Hood when she gets to Grandma's house? I think the wolf is going to try and eat her. Why do you think that? Because in the book, the wolf is dressing himself as grandma to try and trick Little Red Riding Hood. Regardless of age, these tips will help your child become a strong reader. It can be hard to set aside 20 minutes of your day, but if you can commit to reading together, the time and benefits add up quickly. If you read 20 minutes a day, you'll help your child practice reading for more than two hours each week. 
and more than 120 hours in each year. In this video, we talked about why reading 20 minutes per day is so important towards ensuring your student is on track to read at grade level by the end of third grade. We also talked about some ways to make the most of reading with your child. Now you're on your way to helping your child become a strong reader. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in another video soon.